Hi everyone, I'm Kirsty and I'm very excited because today I'm going to be watching the first episode of Money Heist Korea. So I never watched Money Heist, I never got around to it. It got to the point where it got, it was really popular but then it had so many seasons that I fe it felt like a lot to like catch up on. So I feel like maybe I should try and watch it at some point. But yeah, I'm really excited because I saw that they were doing Money Heist Korea and I was like, oh, that could be really interesting. Let's see what this is like. And it's got um, a couple cast members from Squid Game. And yeah, I think it's going to be the next big Korean drama on Netflix, so I'm very excited to watch it. If you enjoy my reaction, don't forget to hit subscribe. I'd love to hit a thousand subscribers so I can hit YouTube partner. And if you'd like to leave a like or a comment, I'd very much appreciate that. My socials are linked down below, including my Twitch, where I stream four times a week. Oh, this is in North Korea. Oh, I didn't realize this was in North Korea. Oh my gosh. Ew. Oh, oh, you horrible man. <gasps> Fuck off. Get out of here. I hate people like that. They prey on people and be like, oh, I can get you into drugs. No, don't try it. Don't try it. Oh, God. What the fuck? Oh, mate, you picked on the wrong girl. She was in the army. <laughs> His face! She knows guns, mate. She knows guns. Oh! Ow! Oh! Holy shit! Oof. You've got yourself into a situation, girl. But honestly, good for you. Fought for yourself and we stand that. Oh shit, no, don't do that. Oh, what a shot. I love that long shot as well of like the tunnel with the lighting. I think that's so cool. I feel like you'd have to steal a lot to change the world. Four trillion, holy shit. Ban Mal? I don't want to speak Ban Mal! Hello? Hello? <laughs> this is such an interesting intro. The most wanted man in North Korea's history. Oh my god. A student field trip. Are the teachers going to be the people? What the fuck? Oh my god. <laughs> Who the fuck watches porn at work? Please. <gasps> oh, you fucko. Ew. Oh, they've got the masks. Here we go. Oh, this is so cool, the way this is being shot. Oh, okay. They changed into their outfits. Oh, okay. I feel like that really shouldn't have been that easy for them, you know? Like, surely people transferring money should be, like, more prepared than that. Oh, bestie. They always say that. Mate, do you not know vexectomies are not 100% you arsehole? This guy's not arsehole! What the fuck? <laughs> that would be fucking terrifying! <laughs> There's just these masks coming out! Holy shit! Why are those two not wearing masks? I like how in this first episode we've kind of gone right into it. It's not been an elaborate intro. Why is she not wearing a mask? I don't understand. <gasps> oh, so she's important? Why is she important? Is she someone's daughter? I 
I bet she's thinking, you're a fucking idiot. Why would you tell them that? This is a really long ring. I would be sus for how long that ring's been going on if I were HQ. <laughs> Nothing special. You literally yelled at them down the phone line, but okay. Is there a camera filming them in the background? There's no money, is there? Oh no, there's loads of money. Holy shit, that's so much money! I would do that also. <laughs> so much money! What? I don't understand why they don't have the masks on, like, on their face. I don't understand this. He's just seen his face. Is he gonna die? Please shoot him, he's an arsehole. The way they're laughing, like actual psychopaths. Oh, so no one gets killed? Okay. Not even, like, I thought he meant like no one in the group got killed, but he means like eh, no one at all gets killed. Okay. I like that. What is the point of this plan? I thought they were supposed to not get hurt. Oh, fuck. Move! Holy shit, mate, move! Oh, fuck! Is he dead? <gasps> they shot him in the heart! <gasps> oh, no, stop! Oh, fuck. Don't kill anyone, you're gonna be in trouble even more. <gasps> Is Ryu dead? <laughs> oh shit. Oh, this has gone to shit, man. Get out of there. Please tell me he was wearing like a vest or something. <laughs> I've been watching like 40 minutes of this and I'm like, oh my god, don't be dead! Oh, he is wearing a vest. Oh my god. Fuck off. For God's sake, you wee shite bag. <laughs> Bestie, there's been a break in at the mint. They've got gotten and they're stealing all their money. Sorry to bother you. Oh, are they making them like them so they don't? Are they making them like them so like the police don't know who's who? So, Johnny Marcindero, Anjanago. I find the the relationship between like North Koreans and South Koreans in this drama just so interesting because it's like they're trying to reunite but like people are not getting on as well because of like an immigration kind of situation. It's just really interesting. I like that he seems to have put on like a North Korean accent like he's not talking in his normal voice I don't think Oh I like her She's cool Four But there's not four is he like trying to confuse everyone? Oh my god, I were 11? We're already 11? Holy shit. I hope they have food with them. <laughs> I'd be so hungry if I didn't have any food. <gasps> oh shit. That's why he said four. Because it's fucked them all up. 
It is going to be a trap. There's like 10 of them or something. These people are fucking dumb. <gasps> Fuck off! Oh my god. I'd be furious if I were her. They've put the hostages in all these red suits. So the people going in won't know who's who and then they can't shoot and then they will, in the confusion, get out, I'm guessing. That is my hypothesis. Is she going on a date with the professor? <laughs> Ah, I knew it! I got it! I got it! I knew she was going on a date with him! <gasps> Has he set that up because he knew that she would be the person working on it? <gasps> oh my god, major manipulator. I love when I get things right. Two months? Holy shit. <laughs> <laughs> Idiot. He's having too much fun. Holy shit. They've given everyone in the bank guns? Oh, fake guns. Who is she? <gasps> the daughter of the US ambassador? Oh, shit. That's why she was so important. Fuck, man. But, like, how are they going to get out of there? I don't understand this situation. <laughs> he's really calling it because he set it all up. <laughs> oh, like fucking magic, like clockwork, honestly. Oh, what's the next step? So they're going to get hostage money? Oh my god, she's actually obsessed with him. Oh my god, they're printing it! Oh shit! Fuck, that's so smart. So that's why they break into the mint and not the bank. That was a really great first episode. I like that it wasn't like, there was a bit of preamble, but there wasn't too much. Like it kind of went into it quite quickly, which I really enjoyed. Like there wasn't this whole big setup episode. Like we got like maybe 20 minutes of setup and then they were already in the heist. And I really enjoyed that. Um, I really like the setting of it being in like, of it being in like Korea, on the verge of reuniting i think that's a really cool setting and i think it makes for a really interesting like political situation for what's going on i'm wondering what's gonna happen um like how are they gonna get out of the mint that's the question and like is this whole one heist gonna go on for like the whole series the whole season or is it gonna be like a couple episodes and then we'll do another heist like I don't know how Money Heist works because I've not watched it at all. So like, I don't know. Um, but yeah, that was definitely really interesting. Please let me know your thoughts below what you think thought of the first episode. I'm interested to see what's going to happen in the next one. Um, and what more hijinks this professor will have some conjured in his brain. <laughs> because the fact that he figured all this stuff out is just mental. Um, but yeah, thank you so much for watching. I hope you have a great rest of your day. Goodbye.